Hello everyone, this is Kyra. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit special here. Uh, we're going to be doing the Resident Evil Code Veronica X playthrough. Now the reason why I wanted to do this is because this is such a classic game and I love this game. Probably one of the best games that I've ever played uh, to this date so far out of the Resident Evil series. Um, if you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, have some more stuff on the way, but let's just get this through. Uh, we're going to start a new game. I remember that when I was like five years old. I was so scared to play this game. American. The American Midwestern town, Raccoon City, has been completely decimated due to the T virus outbreak that was instigated by the international corporation Umbrella. Claire Redfield, who arrived in Raccoon City to search for her lost brother Chris and a rookie police <coughs> officer, Leon S. Kennedy, managed to escape from the city. But their ordeal was only a prelude of things to come. Three months later. Oh shit, three months later. On Brahma! Those were the top graphics back in our day. These kids don't know nothing about those graphics. Your identification number is WKD4496. <sighs> Welcome to your new home. Damn. Her name is Claire Redfield. We caught her trespassing in our Paris lab facility 10 days ago. She apparently infiltrated the complex looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield, one of the survivors of these famous stars teams. Girl was a badass back in our day. Don't move. Yeah, but um, I didn't want to really talk through the uh, cutscenes. Didn't want to ruin the moment for you guys who haven't played Resident Evil or bringing back some memories or whatnot. But uh, this guy has the lighter. Oh, well, I have the lighter. 
Let me shine a light on your black ass. Oh, you ugly. All his mollies ran out. Go on, get out of here. This place is finished. <coughs> I don't know, it might have been a special <coughs> forces to it. But in any case, this prison's been taken over. Troops have been wiped out. What are you saying? You're free to leave the complex. The prison officers were you may as well know. You have just no as cool to let you out. Island. And what about you? What are you going to do? Don't worry about me. Uh -oh. Let's see, we always gonna need some ammo. Gotta remember the controls. It's a little bit different since it's on the Xbox. Um Yeah, so I'd like to take that. Mystetic medicine. Uh Where's the prisoners? Alright, we're gonna need to see that. Probably gonna need this knife. I never really use the knife, but uh I just keep it as a souvenir. Let's see, we're not gonna save right now since we just started the lead. Legendary heartbeat. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. Also, guys, um, I haven't played this game for like years, so don't be mad or hate if I don't remember everything. Oh. Motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> Get up. Get up, Claire. <laughs> Give me your pussy. Give me some of that pussy. Where you going, girl? Get my dick hard. <laughs> I'm flexing. Disgusting. Like a boss. Like a boss. Oh. I'm wasting all that damn ammo. <laughs> Justin Bieber, oh, bitch. You're not a zombie. Well, great. Wait right there. I'm coming over. Uh, sorry about that little misunderstanding, but I thought you were another one of those monsters. Shut up. <laughs> Take one wrong move and I'll shoot. Relax, beautiful. I said I was sorry. My name's Steve. I was a prisoner on this island. And no I'm shit, Scooby Doo. You're not from Umbrella either. No, I'm Claire. Claire Redfield. Claire. 
Hmm. Nice. I'll remember that. Hey, I heard there's an airport around here. But once I find it, I can finally escape from this crazy island. Well, I'll see ya. Hey, wait up. Uh I don't want you following me, lady. He controlling his bitches. You'll only slow me down. Ha. <laughs> He told you, Claire. He fucking told you. Alright, I got a handgun. Let's see what we're going to do. Oh, I want to press that. Are you... Wait. Okay, that's how we do it, guys. Sorry for that. Just trying to check in how to do everything. So I won't do it in front of zombies. <laughs> Alright. Okay, that needs the hawk picture. Now let's see where we're going. Okay, we're going to the barracks. Uh, let's see. There's a herb back there. I'm gonna grab that first before I do anything. Okay, there we go. I'm not the type of person to waste my ammo, but uh, if I have to, I will use every single bit. Oh shit. map go away zombie go away I don't like you no no go away go go away oh you want some more motherfucker all right there you go uh, let's see what's up here it's another herb Herb. Uh, let's see what's in this room. Uh, let's see here. This diary. I'm just going to skip through this diary. If you want to read it, just pause it. Well, actually, I am going to read it. This room stinks of death. Based upon the information I found, I believe that I'm far south of the equator. Lucky for me, that Bob in the bunk below me is one of those interesting types of guys. Today Bob needs some told me some crazy story of why he was put this place put this place with me. Bob said that he used to be an intended of the head of this place. This boss named Alfred supposedly placed him in here because of a tiny little mistake. What does that mean? What's gonna to happen to me? Without warning, a group of military men took Bob to the building behind the guillotine stand. At midnight, I'll sneak out of here to see him. I've been hearing that anyone taken to the building never comes back. On top of that, there are these really large plastic bags constantly being removed from the, from that place. I better pray for Bob. I was wrong. I shouldn't have gone there. I was going in, in there. All I could hear was some insanely creepy laughter and the sound of Bob screaming. I don't know what to do. I can't sleep. Thinking about it, is that going to happen to me? I can't, lady. I just can't. This is my last entry. All of my fellow inmates have been taken to that building. I know that I am next. It's obvious that we were all used to be there as for guinea pigs. There's no way out. What am I going to do? Sad story for you, bro. I don't get to get my head cut off. Stop banging at my fucking door. Oh, you zombie. The Lord, the Lord Christine. Oh shit, Bob! Oh! Oh fuck! Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Oh, get off of my leg. 
All right, let me take these off of you, the M100P. Hmm. Let's see what's in here. Some more ammo. <coughs> I may use the uh, the M100P for uh, boss battles. I know there has to be some. Oops. I know there has to be some boss battles. 